let me say this in just all sincerity. I feel really bad for Tubin, okay? He gets caught with his staff members doing this thing. Uh, you know what he was doing. And it's on camera, it's a staff meeting, and he gets fired. He gets let go from CNN. And this is like in the World Series of politics, right? This is in the middle of when his legal analysis and political analysis would have been front and center on CNN. Now, I'm not, I don't agree with Tubin on everything he says. That's not, you know, no analyst is 100% in agreement with anybody, right? They are opinion concluders at the end of that analysis. But he gets caught up in this scandal. It is detrimental to him and his reputation. So CNN interviewed him and this was just, it was awkward and odd and I will let you all decide. Hi Jeffrey. Hello Allison. It's been a while. It has been a while indeed. I feel like we should address um, what's happened in the months since we've seen you since some of our viewers may not know what has happened. So uh, I guess I'll recap, I'll do the honors. <laughs> Help yourself. Okay. <laughs> um, in October, you were on a Zoom call with your colleagues from the New Yorker magazine. Everyone took a break for several minutes, during which time you were caught masturbating on camera. Uh, you were subsequently fired from that job after 27 years of working there. And you since then have been on leave from CNN. Do I have all that right? Um, you got it all right, sad to say. Okay, so let's start there. Okay. Um, to quote Jay Leno, what the hell were you thinking? Or, or, or if he was interviewing with me, I would have asked, who were you thinking about? <laughs> All right, here's more of it. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, I wasn't thinking very well or very much. And um, it was something that was inexplicable to me. I think one point, I, I wouldn't exactly say in my defense because nothing is really in my defense. I didn't think I was on the call. I didn't think other people could see me. You so, thought that you had turned off your camera? Correct. I thought that I had turned off the Zoom call. Now, that's not a defense. This was deeply moronic and indefensible, but I mean that that is part of that that is part of the story. All right, I'm interested. What's the other part of the story? You know, I have spent the seven subsequent months, miserable months in my life, I can certainly confess, I'm trying to be a better person. I mean, in therapy, trying to do some public service, I'm working in a food bank, which I certainly am gonna to continue to do, working on a new book about the Oklahoma City bombing, but I am trying to become the kind of person that people can trust again. Okay, so first of all, I don't distrust the guy. Uh, he got caught doing something in his home and it was extremely unfortunate how it went down. Uh, but let me say this. People look at Tubin and then they laugh. A wise man taught me one time, when you see something like that happen to a person that's professional, that shows up for work every day, that's consistent, don't laugh, learn. Because mm -hmm. you can get caught up in a similar mistake if you're not careful. So Tubin, I'm cool with Tubin coming back to CNN, but I know that there are masses of individuals who will continue to summarize his entire reality based on that one incident. Waz, what say you? You know, I was a little bit perturbed at the time that the guy got fired. I don't think this is something you should have to lose your job over, right? Like, you know, obviously it was unfortunate. It shouldn't have happened, but I just don't subscribe to this very puritanical American view that people have to people have to hit the feigning couches because they saw one guy's Johnson. And like, it's just human anatomy. It was unfortunate. He should have been reprimanded. The public public ridicule at the time was justified. He paid his penance, let the guy have a job, let the guy pay his bills. I don't see anything wrong with that. And I hope that he continues to do good work on CNN. Like again, like you, I don't agree with everything Jeffrey Tubin has ever said or done as an on air personality, but I think he's a fairly competent cat. And when you survey the landscape of cable news talking head industry, uh, Jeffrey Tubin is far from you know problematic or idiotic or any of those things. I. I I never thought the guy should have lost his job in the first place. But then again, you know, some people say it's easy for me to say that I didn't have to see his Johnson. <laughs> I will say this to the uh, to the folks that were on that staff call: uh, the videotape never leaked. I mean, obviously the story came out, 
but they never leaked the video. Uh, they obviously figured out a way to keep that under wraps because I'm sure people, you know, when things like this happen, man, people are offered a lot of money to leak a video of something mm-hmm. like this, and none of that happened. So big ups to his staff for that. Uh, he's doing a lot of volunteer work. He didn't he didn't commit a crime. He's doing a lot of volunteer work as if he has a sentence. Uh, okay, cool. You know, it, it is what it is. All right.